There is no debate, Oz's drum runs is immaculate. The way he creates pockets with minimalistic sound selection is so good that even Drake shouted him out on a record. Oz had a bouncer. But how exactly does he do this? There are three concepts Oz does different than almost any other producer I know. The first one he shared in this German interview. Also ich fange immer mit den high -Hats an. Well, he's starting with a hi-hat, what's so special about that? Let me show you. This is one of his best bounces that he's ever created, in my opinion, for a German artist. And this is exactly what he heard after adding the hats. But let's compare it to how I would have started. Putting in the clap on a 2 and 4, getting a feel for the sample, then adding the hi hat. Look at what OZ did. What's that clap pattern? Come on! Him starting with the hi hat just opens up a whole new world of putting the claps on this space, which is technically not where you would put claps, but it sounds so f***ing good. And this interesting position of hi-hat, open hat and clap allows OZ to go even crazier with the bounce. Look at this rim shot and this snare. But that's not even the craziest sauce that OZ dropped in his video. He also said this. Hi-Hats macht's aus eigentlich, wie der Beat bouncen soll. Du kannst auch eine zweite Hi-Hat nehmen. Take a look at this beat he also made for the exact same German artist. Which I think is even crazier. Listen to the Hi-Hat work on there. And if you've listened carefully, you might have already picked up on the second technique that OZ does right here. To never let the drums get boring, he does this thing. He creates a turnaround with his drums, which I've never really seen before. I know it's from like chord progressions like a 251 in the end, but with your drums? And the way he does it in this song is with textures from older songs and this DJ scratch at the end. But he doesn't stop there, because after another 8 bars, we don't even get the same turnaround, we get a new turnaround with reverse sounds. Look at this! And this beat is so good that there are even bonus tips I can give you. Like for example, have multiple open hats and place them extremely precise, so that they all work together to create the best bounce. Or also another thing he did right here to create very subtle variation is to layer your snare and then take the layer away later on. Those are already some extremely valuable concepts, but the third one is the reason why people love beats like Sicko Mode. Oh! What? Of course, Sicko Mode has a really cool and different sound selection, especially in the bass. But the thing which really stuck out is the beat switches. And on Drake's and Twenty One Savage's Middle of the Ocean, Oz did one of those beat switches again. I'm down to go get us some boys. I'm here for the more support. Whipping the vest ball for six. And I don't know about you, but me listening to the song the first time, this beat switch really took me by surprise, but it also wasn't really abrupt. So how did OZ create this? He did this sort of by using the second technique that I showed you earlier, creating a turnaround at the last eight bars of your drums. In this beat, the turnaround was a drum fill. He also used this drum fill or turnaround to transition into the drop, to transition into a bridge.
And that's the reason why when we hear this drum fill again, we know something new is gonna happen. Obviously, those are just three and a half reasons of why OZ is OZ. Thanks for watching.